Hey guys, welcome to Sketchbook Pro tutorial number two, using reference. My name is Carlos Mendoza, and today we're going to be working on a T-Rex. Um, the techniques that we're going to be using today are pretty similar to the techniques that I used on video number one. So if you haven't seen video number one, please do so uh, on my channel and uh, check it out and come back. And so the techniques I'm going to be using today is basically to create your own characters using references such as these. Uh, the previous video was about sketching your own reference and drawing your own and creating many things out of it. So let's get started. Today we're going to use this T-Rex. I'm going to go ahead and start sketching it and basically blocking in the, the overall silhouette of this character using the reference on the far corner. Um, the techniques that I use here is basically I try to find the overall uh, shapes uh, and, and, the, and the gestures that this character is in. Um, this character that I'm using for reference is in 3D uh, and it's also uh, in three-quarter view. I'm going to make a profile version of it, which is more of a side, like, obviously a side profile of it, but um, which is a lot easier to, to take on and it's a lot quicker to, to draw. Um, in this case here, I'm going to start drawing out the character and once I got the overall look, I'm going to start getting rid of my reference photo because I already built up the, uh, the overall um, proportions that I needed for the character, for this creature. I start exploring a little bit on the sketching of what I want to do. I want to add some crazy, uh, you know, spikes for a spine and so on and so forth. So at this point, I'm going to start putting all my black line art and I'm going to start throwing my lines like I've showed you on the first video. And using the reference uh, sketch that I did on the bottom, I'm going to start uh, putting in all my details in um, and correcting the anatomy and the anatomical structure of this, of this creature. I'm going to shorten his arms. I'm going to add certain details to them that were in the original in the original reference so that it continuous, continuously stay looking like a T-Rex. I don't want to sway too far away because my goal is to keep it T-Rex looking. So I don't want to sway away too far from it. So here I'm going to continue uh, doing my black line art and I'm going to throw my line very quickly in there. I'm trying not to do very much more exploration as far as sketching. So as you can see, I'm adding all the details in already. So this is very quick, very uh, simple way of, of, of drawing out uh, character and stuff. So once I get to this point where I feel like I'm done, I even put my signature on it and I feel like it's still not done. It still needs a little bit more. I still feel like it's part of the reference. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tweak it just a little more just so that it does feel a little bit more my own. And so um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start uh, adjusting and rearranging a little bit of the details and, and uh, the anatomical structure of his face so that he does have a little bit demeanor, a, a different uh, different look to him than the original reference. So right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to start changing up the chin bone here that he uses to crack eggs. I'm going to go ahead and change that uh, and also adjust the head a little bit just so that it gives a little bit more to the narrative. I want to make sure that it looks like he's walking towards something or he's out looking for prey or he's going to start chasing something. So there's a story behind it. But be careful because I, you know, while you're doing this, you got to start noticing like tangents happening or uh, uh, um, your silhouette starts looking a little weaker. So these are things that you're going to have to be, be aware of. In this instance, you're going to start seeing that the jawbone here, the, the chin bone, I'm sorry, is touching, is close to touching the finger. And so I don't want that in my silhouette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, find the, the proper head uh, placement and I'm going to adjust uh, where it need be. So here we have the, the chin bone is going to be moved. But I'm going to modify it. I still want it big. I don't want it to, to interfere or, or cause any type of uh, tension between the finger and the, and, the, and the head. So I'm going to move it a little bit just to give a little breathing room to my silhouette. And I'm going to adjust it to fit just right. So right now I'm creating this S shape from the bottom of my jaw into the bottom of my chin bone. So it creates this S shape. So still keeping the, 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 the bone structure of, of the original uh, reference. So for now, I'm going to start looking again to putting back all the details that I lost while I was doing these modifications. Make sure that uh, you explore a little bit with that, like have fun with it. Try not to get married to the very first thing that you draw uh, using that reference. Try to explore a little bit like with like the head. Uh, if you feel you need to change things, do so. Don't be married to what you've drawn. It's not the final thing. It's, it's just a, it's a cool concept. And I hope that this video helped you guys. Um, I'm going to be posting many more of these tutorials. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I really appreciate you guys being here. See you guys on the next one.